thank you for purchasing a model HD400 safety hoist. As with all of our models, the assembly of the HD400 is simple and can be accomplished with ordinary hand tools. The HD400 ships in four pieces. Box number one contains the power unit, as well as the operating handle, lifting handle, and a hardware bag that contains operating instructions, engine manual, and all assembly hardware. Box number two contains the components necessary to assemble the carriage, as well as the peak assembly. Bundle number three contains two eight-foot track sections. Bundle number four contains an eight-foot base track section with stabilizing feet and a four-foot track section. To assemble your safety hoist, remove the deck and flap assembly from box number two. Next, remove the trolley, angle supports, and peak assembly components. From box number one, remove the assembly hardware bag. First, attach the deck to the trolley and angle supports using the hardware supplied. Note that no special tools are required. Once the carriage assembly is completed, slide it onto the 8-foot base track supplied in bundle number 4. Second, assemble the rest of the ladder sections using the provided splice plates. Attach the splice plates to the inside of the track. Note, the rung supports must face downward. Third, slide the peak onto the top of the assembled track. The drilled holes in the peak and the track must line up. If they do not, turn the peak around. Fourth, remove from box number one the power unit and attach the lifting handle. Wheel the power unit into a position close to the carriage assembly. Then attach the operating handle. Turn the ladder assembly on its side. Fifth, release and pull the cable free from the cable drum. Disengage the brake and pull the cable free from the winch drum. Pull at least two full ladder lengths of the cable free. String the cable through the pulley attached to the peak assembly at the top of the ladder sections. Pull the cable from the peak assembly back to the carriage, behind the flap and carriage assembly, and attach it to the clevis pin in the back of the trolley. If additional strength is needed, an alternate method of stringing the cable may be used. In this double stringing method, the cable, rather than attaching it to the clevis pin, is wound around the trolley pulley and pulled back to the peak and attached to the snap hook. Sixth, carefully and safely raise the track sections to the roof with the base the proper distance from the base of the building, one foot out for each four feet up. Seventh, Attach the power unit to the fifth rung from the bottom and lock into place with a pin provided. It is important to note that some engines ship without oil. It is critical that the oil level in the crankcase and gearbox be checked. Multi-purpose brackets come with the unit and can be attached for raising many other materials other than shingles. Once again, thank you for purchasing a Safety Hoist HD400 ladder lift.